Let's get to some NFL action first and foremost because a heavyweight battle, supposedly a heavyweight battle, took place in um, obviously yesterday, last night to be specific, in Orchard Park, Buffalo, New York, Western New York. It was cold, it was freezing, a lot of snow on the side, people shoveling snow out the arena and the stadium and all of that stuff. We get all of that. Patrick Mahomes purportedly outdo Josh Allen for a 27-24 win and the Chiefs are moving on to their sixth straight AFC championship game. All six years as a starter for Patrick Mahomes, all six years in the AFC title game. Now, contrary to what you believe, I'm quite a nice guy. Don't tell nobody, but it's true. I am a very, very nice guy. Except to kickers. Because when I saw Tyler Bass miss wide right, I started hearkening back to the 80s when the Buffalo Bills were down 2019 and you had an opportunity to win a Super Bowl championship and you couldn't get it done. It was similar to what happened yesterday evening. And the Buffalo Bills, yet again, after four straight years of winning the AFC East division crown, can't find themselves in a Super Bowl. Yet again. This is different than losing four straight Super Bowls as they did in the 90s. It's a little different than that. Now you can't even get there. And to me, it's not so much about blame, but it is about acknowledging the fact that the Buffalo Bills blew a prime opportunity. You got Josh Allen throwing that pass to Stephon Diggs, a bomb that was in the hands of Stephon Diggs, and he drops that pass. You're an all-world receiver. My brother, you got to catch that pass. You got to catch that pass. That is not what happened. He dropped it. It went right through his arms, period. Three receptions for 21 yards on the afternoon, that's unacceptable for somebody as great as Stephon Diggs. That's number one. Number two, despite pressure from the Kansas City Chiefs and having an offensive lineman basically backpedaling and being pushed into you, you're Josh Allen. You got to step aside to hit a wide open Khalil Shakur in the end zone. You got to make that throw. You got to make that throw. It is about moments. And that was a moment for Josh Allen to step up and Unfortunately, he came up short. That man threw that football and skipped, and it missed Shakur by about five yards. It was like me throwing the first pitch at Yankee Stadium, damn it. I mean, it was that bad. It was almost crickets. You can't make that kind of throw in that situation. You got to find a way to offset that. You're looking at the comparisons right there. Patrick Mahomes, 17 to 23, 215 yards. Josh Allen, 26 to 39, 186 yards. You threw 39 passes, but only 186 yards. 16 of those passes, by the way, were behind the line of scrimmage. So guess what? You really, really wasn't making much noise throwing the football downfield because you threw for less than 100 yards when it came to the other 23 passes that you threw. And so that's not that impressive. I know he was running the football effectively. I'll give him credit for that. And we know that Josh Allen is a stud. So when we think about elite quarterbacks in the National Football League, you got to give credit where credit is due and recognize the fact that the brother is big time. But there are levels. And when you saw what Lamar Jackson did against Houston, when you saw what Patrick Mahomes did throughout the afternoon, you see that there are levels. And that is a place that Josh Allen has still failed to reach, to have reached. Plain and, plain and simple. In the AFC Divisional Playoff game, a couple of years ago, you lost to Cincinnati. Before that, you lost to Patrick Mahomes. Okay? So you're talking about losing to Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. You're talking about losing to Joe Burrow once in the playoffs. And you're talking about being 5-1 against everybody else. That's unacceptable. So if you're looking for a reason why the Buffalo Bills in their last six games or the Buffalo Bills, period, can't find themselves in a Super Bowl, there you have it. Kansas City Chiefs don't look like the same team. This was a prime opportunity. And if you're the Baltimore Ravens and you're going up against the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen, who can run with the football as well as throw the football, who knows what kind of game that may have turned into, even though their defense is suspect due to a plethora of injuries. No matter which way you slice it, it was a prime opportunity. The Buffalo Bills didn't take advantage of it. And their kicker, that's your only damn job. You do nothing else. You don't go get coffee or tea. You don't sit up there. You ain't even an equipment manager, for crying out loud. Your only job is to kick the damn field goal. And you missed. A 44-yarder. To me, the brother shouldn't have even been in the locker room talking to the media. He should have kept his uniform on and walked straight out of the arena. And the only delay that should have existed was the fact that he was scared that he'd probably run into Bills fans whose hearts he'd broken. But outside of that, it is what it is. Buffalo Bills are going home. Kansas City Chiefs advance to the AFC Championship game, awaiting them as Lamar Jackson.